elite football player, need a Cartier skeleton, stainless steel, fully bust down, with a big Google bezel. Just for today, we'd go through diamond rings and gauge rings with you. So tomorrow, Judd will be 30. Like and subscribe to Trotter's Jewelers now. Yes guys, how are we doing? So today we have three special watches to show you guys in our very own Trotter's watch rolls available online. Inside we have two Patek Philippe's and one AP. On my right, your left, we have the 5711 Rose on a rubber bracelet. In the middle, on the white strap, we have the 5980R on a leather. And on the far right for you, my left, we have the AP Platinum 26290PO. This is the Grand Prix Platinum Edition. Three very, very special watches. If you're interested in any of these pieces, drop us a message or give us a call. Fresh, 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 fresh. I'll take two out. Uh, your original dial. Yeah. Fill this out for me, bro. Just a uh, name, number, address, postcode, email. And I'll just start the invoice for you now, bro. How was the journey? <gasps> Long. Bro, bro, you had me late. Almost 200 euros for taxi. 200 quid? Yeah. What, from the airport? Yeah. What airport did you go into? I, got, I went to Heathrow. I should have yeah, gone to one of the other ones. <laughs> mission. <laughs> mission. Yeah, mate. You go on the Elizabeth line. Straight there, innit? Straight to Heathrow. Go to, go to Liverpool, uh, Liverpool Street. Yeah. Get on the Elizabeth line. Literally one train there. So obviously, quick in that job for Yusuf. Shout out, thank you very much. He come through for the Cinema Rose uh, Day Just 41. Quick flight from Ireland, come over, see trials, got the flight back. Really appreciate it, bro. Thanks again. I think if you're not looking to cash out straight away and you've got money plotted up, it's definitely one to hold on to for, for at least a year or so. Wait for the market yeah. to come back up in and sell it just before it, before it changes. All right, have a think about it. Obviously, you know where you are with your finances. So have a think. I said, obviously, you know where you are with your finances. Have a think about it. If it works out better for you and you can afford to hold on to it for like at least a year, I say it's definitely one to, ha to have. Well, if I can get it, I'll just shoot straight over and grab it and then bring it here. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, no, I agreed. Like I said to you, brother, if I didn't have one, I'd call it on. It's a lovely watch. It's one of my favorite bars. Sorry if I keep calling you, I'm causing you a load of hassle, but whenever I do get it, if I get anything Yeah, out, just ping it over, brother. Yeah, ping, ping, ping it over. Um, even if it's not me, the boys will take a look at it through the, through the WhatsApp. This is our business line anyway. Um, yeah, yeah. And if, if, they, if we do need it, uh, we'll make an offer on it. Okay, and if we no don't, problem. obviously, like I, guided, like I gave you a bit, little bit of advice, uh, we'll just mark yeah, your card yeah. and let you know where you are. Okay, listen, H, thank you very much. And if I get anything else, I'll, you'll be the first person to call, okay? Yeah, I, I better be. I, I, need the, I need the good discounted prices, bro. Okay. These, advice, these advices aren't free, you know. People charging <laughs> on the for consultancy these days. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> nah, I'm only pulling your leg. Go on, um, look, no. do your thing. Just hit us up whenever you've got something there, and um, we'll see we, if we can do the best for you, all right? Yeah, no problem. Thank, you, Thank you. So, uh, just got off the phone to a gentleman from from abroad. He's been offered a white gold date 840 with a meteorite dial and an RBR bezel. So it's an RBR reference. Uh, lovely watch. It's one of my favourites. I know I've got a few favourites, but I can't help it. But yeah, we guided him. It wasn't one that we wanted to stock. Uh, not because it's, it's not a good watch to have. It's a lovely watch, but we've already got one put away in the Trotters Museum for all you guys that know. So we had to guide him the right way and make sure he get, uh, sells it to the right people. Is it for you? Yeah, for me. How much is that bow tone on? How much oh, is that? Oh. Where's it back on? There is. Uh, what are we going on the pan, the day toner? Okay. The yellow gold one. Oh, 3605. Is that the cheapest one? Uh, out, of the, out, of the, out of the ones we have here, yeah. What were you thinking? Is that what you like? Yeah, I like, yeah. I've got a tiny bit of movement on it, but not a lot. No? Tiny bit, but not a lot. 
What year is this one? That one is a... Isn't that the one you had? That one with the green... Oh, that might be my tag. Oh, that, that one is 2013. You can also wear that one as well. Can I? Oh, 30, I think it's like 36 none on fire, but I can try and do a little bit better for you. If that sort of money... It's right, but that, for that sort of money, it ain't catching my eye. Well, it's something like that. Day date. Yeah, that. Yeah. To get that. Yeah. Well, what, how much is the olive one? You got the olive one? I haven't. I can get you one, though. How Bro. much? How much is that one? How much could you do the olive one if I wait? If you can get it in. Rose gold, though. It'd be rose gold, wouldn't it? Yeah, how much is that, though? Depends what year you want. I uh, really like rose gold. Do you know? I think it looks real nice. Do you know? Um, probably, I knew it, that 20, 20, 20 yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, You're probably like paying that. like nearly 50 grand. But, and then where this, will that, really I know they hold their value good so anyway, Rolex, but will that, think that is there a chance that will go up? Yeah, yeah, it's it's chance really really has it gone up? Yeah. 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 It's gone up, yeah, they're oh, like 26, yeah. they're like 27 grand, so that's when they first yeah. 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 I like Rolex. I got an olive, but you can try the Rolex. I like Rolex, that is nice. Or gold sub, it's a nice one. Yeah, I've already got a sub, I mm. don't know about that. Is this all what you've got in store today? Yep. All this, what's on show, yeah? No Sprite. Yeah, no uh, I might even... How much is that, what is that, 36? 36 and a half. 36 and a half. Yeah, I'll just grab that. I'll grab that one. Yeah? Sorry, Joe. So I'm just making sure that the paperwork matches the serial of the actual watch itself. With the new shapes or the new models, obviously the the serials on the inner bezel, but the old shapes is still on the side of the case. You will see it on the six o'clock side. So basically, this side of the bracelet, you'd have to take off to check the serial. Take off the twelve o'clock side to take, check the model number. Yeah, sweet. I'll come. I'll come in some. Yeah, I'll come in Sunday. Uh, just let me know what time and that, because I'll be. I'll open up for you. Um, what, what the best thing to do is then get, try and get the papers for your day just. Uh, and then I can I you can either leave with me and I'll try and sell it for you to get you a bit more money, or I could just offer you a price outright to just to buy it off of you. Because I want to buy the skeleton as well. Yeah, well, it's not that off. Sweet. You want do you want the stainless steel skeleton uh, with the the big bugger bezel? Yeah. I've had it for like five six years now. So that. So that was Damari Gray on the phone. He's actually after a new piece. He's after the Cartier Skeleton fully diamond set, of which we are going to source for him potentially. Uh, he wants to part exchange his diamond date just 41 mil. Um, hopefully we can get him best money we can for his one and get him the Cartier at the best price possible and the deal runs smooth. Uh, no, I'm saying, but if you got the if you got the bezel in that, then I can sort it out. My side. How long? Next week probably. Could you could 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 you get a new satellite? Uh, no, this Saturday. No. How much for a bust down skeleton? How quick? And uh, you have a skeleton or not? Yeah. yeah. No, I need something sooner, man. And what about if I, and bez, just that bezel? Can't get it for me. I'm not not quick enough. Let me see if he's ready. Go on, go on, we're back. Okay. I'll just had the call. Premier League football player who plays for Everton. Needs a Cartier skeleton, stainless steel, fully bust down with the big booger bezel. We've just made some calls, there's none available. So, so basically what Cal said. What group did you put the We're going behind the scenes now to try and see if we can really uh, find one have you in time. OB? We've got about, what, four or five days? That's it, four or five days. Watch this space. So as you guys can see, we got there for Damari. Uh, Callum went to the Tottenham game uh, when they played Everton to drop it off. Um, so yeah, all was good. The wire is happy, we're happy, and we also got a signed shirt, which we really appreciate. Main part of the show, one of three in the world. Gotta come and have a look at this. Wow.
program. Just bought a new whip. Like and subscribe to Trotter's Jewelers now. <laughs> you couldn't, you couldn't do the clutch with it. So obviously, Ken, sick car, but you can't drive, mate. So let me give you a couple of lessons. Um, the one of three in the world, the Aston Martin Q Jeep, absolute beast. The special paint job. That's what differentiates the difference. Um, unbelievable whip. If you've watched the show before, you've seen that Ken's been a couple, uh, a couple of times on camera with us. Absolute blinder. Absolute lovely pieces. Could have asked for a better customer, really. Um, thank you for all this. How's it going, guys? Jake over at Trotters North London. Just thought today we'd go through diamond rings, engagement rings with you. So these are some of the ones that we have in stock over at North London. Not all of them. This is just a very, very small selection. Some of these will be certified and some of these won't be certified and we'll go through that in a little while. First of all, when someone messages and goes, I'm thinking of popping the question or I'm after an engagement ring or I'm after a diamond. First sort of things, questions we'll ask is, do you want natural or lab grown? We'll go through the differences of those a little bit later on as well. Then next we'd ask them what sort of shape diamond they was looking for, if they've seen anything that they like, to try and give us a base idea of what they're looking for. Then the next question we'd normally ask is, what shape diamond are you after? Because most people normally have that pre-selected before we have to go through it with them. So most common ones would be round diamonds, baguettes, emeralds, pear shapes, and princess cuts. There is a lot of other diamond shapes out there and cuts, obviously too many to this. There's a lot that you'll hardly ever see or some jewelers probably wouldn't even recognize. They do limited edition cuts as well, which don't last very long. Very, very rare that you see them. Not massively popular either. After we've worked out what diamond shape that's your best preference, then we'll talk about mounts. There's sort of three standard options. You've got the plain mount, single stone, just a diamond, very beautiful, simple, elegant mount, quite popular. Then after that, we'll have the diamond shoulders only, also very popular. Sometimes can be a bit tricky if you're going for a lower quality stone because some the stones are normally quite good quality in the mount because they're inexpensive because of their size. And then finally, probably I would say the most popular is a halo mount, which is a small ring of diamonds all the way around the center stone. You've got halo mount, diamond shoulders, and just the plain mount. There is other designs, but these are probably the three most popular that we'd get. After we've ascertained what shape you're after, what style of mount you're after, then there's the awkward question of budget. So we have diamonds in stock from this, something very small and around 250 pounds, complete, ready to go for someone who doesn't have a huge budget. Then we have stuff in stock like this, which is a four carat VS stone. I'll go into a little bit more on clarities in a bit. Right, so going back to what I mentioned earlier, the difference between lab grown and natural diamonds. Lab grown diamonds are fairly new to the market. They have been about, but they're gaining a lot of traction at the moment. We will make you a lab grown diamond ring, not a problem, but we do not stock lab grown diamonds. Some people like them, some people don't. It's not really our thing, but if that's what the customer wants, that's what the customer gets. So lab grown diamonds, commonly known as ethical diamonds as well, are diamonds that are not mined out of the ground. They are made in a lab setting, which essentially to dumb it down layman's terms is they get pieces of carbon, they get in a very, very big cooker, they get very hot and they put in a lot of pressure and it creates a diamond. We don't stock them, like I said, I'm not a fan of them because uh, there's machines out there that can tell the difference between a lab grown diamond and a natural diamond. In my mind, are they really the same? But that's down to the customer on what they want and what they believe. Some people want them because obviously they're ethically sourced and no one's been hurt in the making of mining the diamond. The four main factors to consider when picking a diamond are the four C's. That's the cut also known as the shape, the carat weight, which is the size of the diamond, and the weight, carat is a unit of measurement, the color of the diamond, and the clarity. Cut, we've already gone through different shapes and sizes. Carat weight depends obviously on budget and then on color and clarity. Color is when you get a certain diamond, they are graded on a scale of D down to the letter Z. So D is the best color, perfectly clear, colorless. And then as the color of the diamond deteriorates, maybe goes a bit yellow or more into a brown, 
uh, the scale drop so you can get a D, an E, an F, a G. The higher the letter in the alphabet, the better the color of the stone. So these are two big rand stones. If you have a budget of up to 10,000, we have 163, which is a GVS2, and we have a 193, which is ungraded, but probably ran the L to M color. So this is quite a good clip because you can see the difference in what I mean by grading in color. So because I've shown you all white gold rings, I just thought so you know there is other options. You can get them in yellow, white and rose and also platinum. The good thing, and I can tell you this guys, because it's a safe space, because our analytics say that we are 90% male on this channel. So ladies, little tip for you as well. If you know, you know. If you buy a rose gold man or a yellow gold man, you can drop in color of the diamond you get in because you will see a slight bit of color coming through the diamond from the man. So you don't have to go for a D color if you're going for, for a yellow or a rose mount. Little tip for you. Fun fact, the reason it starts at D and not A is because if they ever discover a more colorless diamond, they'll have no way of grading it. So C is ready in the bank for when they find that beauty. Clarity starts at, they're in letters, let me pre-warn you, and they are confusing. So first of all, at the top, obviously flawless, top dog. So a D flawless diamond is the best you can get. Underneath flawless, you have IF, internally flawless. So again, a very, very, very good clarity. After this, we have VVS1. VVS1 stands for very, very slightly included. Don't know why they had to say very twice, but they did. After that, we have VVS2. Then it drops down to VS1, which is just very slightly included. And then we have VS2. After this, we have SI1, SI2, and SI3. SI1 stands for, or SI2 or 3, stands for slightly included. There's nothing wrong with them because there is different styles of SI diamonds. You can get ones with black marks in or clear marks in, etc. So they're not always a bad thing. And then after that, we have just I, which stands for included. Clarity is based on when the gemologist looks at the stone under a microscope, they look for impurities and flaws within the diamonds. These can be big black marks of unburnt carbon, or they can be clear marks, or a stone can be cloudy. This is a whole separate video maybe to do with gemologists and how they grade diamonds. Here is one for you. This is a 78 pointer. So that's 78% of a carrot. This is a D color internally flawless. So this is about as good as a diamond can get. This is in stock available today for 9,500 set in 18 carat white gold in a halo mount. So you get a smaller diamond below a carat, but the halo gives it that, that bigger look, but it is a near perfect diamond. Just to refresh cut commonly referred to as shape, so maybe a round or a princess. Then we have carat weights, that could be half a carat, one carat, 0.75, something like that. Then we have your color and clarity, so it could be an EVVS2. So this is how we distinguish exactly what a diamond is. Cool, so when it comes to people approaching us and asking us whether we can help them get an engagement ring, we do have stock. So that's stock, sometimes people just go, I love that. So the most popular thing when people come into us and ask us about buying a diamond, things like that is, we have stock which is available for people to view. Sometimes they see a ring and just go, I love that, that's exactly what I pictured, that's exactly what I want, that's great. Then, which is probably a bit more common now, we have the bespoke option where we will go through the questions what you want, design, we will generate a computer aided design, we will show you that, then we'll go out and find a diamond. This option is more expensive because obviously there's a lot more time involved on our part because we have to go and find you a diamond, we have to pay someone to CAD a design, things like that, where if you buy something off the shelf, it will be that little bit cheaper. So when it comes to dropping us a message on Instagram or giving us a call, we always recommend coming into store and viewing a few diamonds, looking at a few rings and trying things with me, it's in person. You can come in, we'll sit you down, get you a drink, and then we can go through a few things. I will definitely do it over Instagram. It's not a problem, do it quite often. But I think it's always nice to come in and actually sit down and see a few stones and, and get an idea of what you want, actually looking at yourself rather than just over pictures, because pictures never do diamonds justice. Hope that was helpful. If you have any questions whatsoever, drop Trotters Jewelers UK. A message on Instagram or give us a call we're more than happy to help thank you for watching so tomorrow Judd will be 30 but he's not in tomorrow so we've had to make do and bring it forward a day We've got a bit of the um, Stevie Wonder playing, waiting for him to come in. Can't go wrong with a bit of Stevie.
Look at that. Don't pick it up. <laughs> okay. I won't touch it. Don't pick it up. So a few accidents already. So my birthday, my thirtieth. Me, Callum and Ali. Just <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. New whip. Yep. I absolutely love that. Thank you guys to the best team ever and making my thirtieth birthday a little bit more special. I love you always. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's hard to get more sticker these oh, days. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, so yeah, EADs yeah. just take them off. No. But I'm not saying we didn't buy it from retail. We bought it from someone who bought it yeah, from retail. Can't but say, can't yeah, say he, he, he yeah. literally said he got it from retail. Yeah, yeah, no, I understand that. Yeah. This is the only one you guys got. That's the last one yeah. we got, yeah. The last yeah. one, I had four in them. Yeah, what is it? Because I used to be a Royal Green, you see, so that colour oh, is, hell, is the bar, yeah. We, um, I, uh, to be fair, we had, we had, say, four or five in, and then one of our friends got a Pepsi from retail. And yeah. he turned around and said, he, he turned around and said that the AD said that the Kermits are the hardest ones to get retail at the moment. I thought it was mad, I thought it'd be a Pepsi, but yeah, I've had that, they said the Kermit and the Sprite, obviously. Yeah, I've had a word with my AD, like they said these are very rare. Yeah, yeah. Matt, I'd have yeah. thought Pepsi's would have been harder to yeah. get, but obviously not. What are you asking for that? That one is, I think it's up. It's nice up here, guys. Thank you. Thank you. 15.5, that one. What's your best on it? That's the last one. That's yeah. the best price. It's 22. She's not going to get any better. She's not going to get any That's other. That's the best. Right. She can't replace them. Mm -hmm. So if I was to sell it for less than the 15.5, I'm probably to rebuy this at a trade. Yeah, I understand the market at the moment. Yeah, I get that. A lot. That's your best, yeah, 15.5. Yeah. How much did you want to spend? That's the thing. I want to, I'm I want to do a part X, but you guys will check the IWC. So if you could guide me with regards to how much you want, I'd probably get an indication of what I could get for it. So what? You want 15.5 for that? Mm -hmm. You got the pitch? Is the paperwork in the box? Yeah, yeah. yeah everything's in there, mate. Her paperwork, it's got the original warranty card with it. Like I said, it's got over two years warranty on it now, it's been serviced. I mean, what would you pay for it in 270? <laughs> See, I know, I know it's a bit of a thing. Like I said, yeah, I, I understand. Yeah, I know, what they, I know what they're six I know what grand to buy brand new today. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's what they are today. Yeah. But obviously, yeah. So I, I got it in 2017. Right. I think you can see what I paid for it, there were six in there. Yeah, just to, to make, make your life easier. So if you paid six, six grand for it, I mean, I think, I think realistically, you're probably going to get 30, 30 to 40% in the trade like, of retail. That's if you don't want to like, get out of the way. If you want to wait on it, and you, you can probably get more. I think I think you can yeah. comf comfortably get four and a half to a turn end, yeah. end user. That's if I did it. What? So I sold it myself. Yeah. 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 I'd be happy to spend, give you that on 12. I'll be honest, I, I wouldn't be interested. Yeah. If, I, if, I get, if, he, if my friend messages me, what's the model? Yeah, if any, if anything, I'd say, I'd say, um, let my friend just reply. Yeah. If if he if he doesn't say anything quite optimistic, you know what? Then I'd say take take the free. Um, I think that's fair. And if you do one, you can put a deposit down, secure it, and then come back. Come back. Right. Yeah. No, it's come back. Yeah. That way you're not rushing to to get deals deals done. I appreciate it, mate. Yeah, I appreciate that. So although we didn't take the IWC as a part X. We uh, advised the, the gentleman to go elsewhere uh, to sell the watch to get the most money he could. And then he uh, eventually come back to us and built our Starbucks. So everyone was happy.